everyone! This is Teresa Jackson here today with another Lightroom tutorial. I've recorded this one for those of you struggling with missing photos in your Lightroom catalog. This is a very common problem for new Lightroom users because there's a basic misunderstanding of how Lightroom manages your images. When importing images into Lightroom, it's natural to assume the files are being placed into Lightroom, but that's not what happens. Importing simply teaches Lightroom about those files and where they are located. I set up this catalog with a handful of stock images to demonstrate. While you're in the library module of Lightroom, you can find where the location of your photos reside on your computer. Come over here to the left into the folders panel and you'll see that I have a folder called T. Jackson Photos. If I toggle this open, we'll see that there are three separate folders inside of there. So if I click and select animals, we'll see the 22 images that are in the animals folder. Then we have interior and we have people. If I want to jump out of Lightroom to my computer to see where these images reside, I can do that really simply by doing a control click or a right click right on this folder T. Jackson Photos. So I'm on a Mac, I'm going to do a control click and that brings up the contextual menu. Right here towards the bottom we see Show in Finder. If you're on a PC or a Windows machine that will say Reveal in Explorer. That jumped me out to my computer where I can see the folder with the, the folder of photos with the nested folders. If we look close, we can see these are sitting on my desktop, which is really a bad place to keep your photos. So I might decide at this point that I really don't want that folder of photos on my desktop. So I grab it and I move it over here to my pictures so that now the photos are inside of the pictures folder. Well, I'm going to jump back to Lightroom now and all these exclamations showed up. Let's scroll up this so we can see. So here we have exclamation marks on the images and over here on the folders we have question marks. Lightroom did not lose my photos. It simply lost track of where they went because I moved them. You can fix that broken link by clicking on an exclamation mark of a missing photo and that brings up this dialog box to ask you if you want to go locate it. Well, I know where I move the photo to, so by selecting locate, I can go find it. So I'll select the pictures folder, I'll open the photos folder, I'll open the people folder, and then I'll select this first image here. Now, if I have this option at the bottom, find nearby missing photos, it should find everything in that folder. Lightroom did find all eight of those images, but it created a new folder up here. If I select this, there, here's where all the photos are. And it did that because this has got a different folder structure hierarchy than the original one on the desktop. If I do a control click or a right click on that people folder and say show parent folder, it shows the people, the photos, the T. Jackson photos folder. If I do that again on the show parent folder here, we'll see that this is inside of the pictures. This one down here was inside of the desktop folder. There's an easier way to fix your missing links or your missing photos and that's using the folder instead of the image. So instead of clicking on an exclamation mark for example, go to the highest folder in the hierarchy, so that would be T. Jackson's photos, do a right click or a control click on that and say find missing folder. Now that's going to take us to a dialog where we can search for that folder. So I'm going to back up out of here. This is the folder T. Jackson photos that I moved to the pictures folder. I'm going to choose that and it's going to merge everything together and put it back so I fix this catalog by repointing Lightroom to the new location of the folder and images. Lightroom will also lose track of your images if you rename something. Let's see how that works. I'm going to do a control click on T. Jackson Photos and say show in Finder. And that jumped me out to the location of this folder in the pictures folder. And then I'll um, rename this to room interiors because that folder really is a bunch of rooms. 
So I renamed that folder here on my hard drive and then when I switch back to Lightroom we get a question mark and it shows that Lightroom thinks that it's lost the photos but it's just lost track of them because they have a, this folder has a new name. I can fix it again very easily by doing a control click or a right click say find missing folder and then navigating to that folder which is right here selecting the folder with the new name and that will immediately fix that broken link and the question mark will go away. If you want to rename a folder of images that are already imported into your Lightroom catalog do that while you're inside of Lightroom and that's pretty easy again you do a right click or a control click on that folder and say rename and then I'll just call this stock photos because that's really what they are and say save and now this folder has been renamed if I go back out to my desktop or the computer and back up here we'll see that the folder has been renamed on my hard drive as well as inside of Lightroom. The important lesson to learn from this is that you are responsible for the location of your image files, not Lightroom. After you've imported images into Lightroom, don't move them or rename them. If you stick to that policy, you'll never again have files go missing.